Hey, how's it going? Just coming back from a supply drop run. Got some good stuff. Threw some into the grinder. And then for what we're keeping, we've got a very nice saddle, man. Another one for one of the new creatures. Really need to look them up some. Maybe we'll try to tame one in the next video. All depends on the mechanics of it and stuff. But I'm kind of curious, man. Seeing how much damage we took from it with it having like an acid damage and stuff. It's uh, something I'm pretty curious about. So we'll try to get one of those soon. We got two saddles enough now for those guys. We got some more of the desert armor. And we got a very good blueprint for some riots. Oh, our plant species is up. Nice. Well, we got some riot boots. Mastercraft. 384 on the armor, man. Not too bad. Never use them because they are super, super hot. One thing I never really understood is you got Scorched Earth, right? It's a very hot map. It's kind of the, uh, the whole gist of it, right? But there's not one with cold. Kind of curious. Why not? Be kind of cool to have one, but it's what it is. Got a new toy for our Mantis as well. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a set of pikes. Oh, yeah. Let's do this, man. I totally forgot to check out in the last video. I want to see if he can hold a chainsaw. If so, it's a cool thing, but super, super terrifying. Give you that, and I'm going to trash these. Galley killed. I like it. You can't. Only, uh, only weapons and stuff. That kind of sucks, but he's got a 275 damage on this, and then 243 on durability. Very, very nice. Anytime we use him, like we will today for harvesting, we'll just give him our tools, man. It's a lot better, and she'll get more resources out of it. Let's drop off this again. We'll put these in here. Kind of weird. I got a pre-built industrial grinder and one of the cooking pots. And then we got these. Very good for polymer whenever you grind them. As well as this. But like these things, my opinion, those shouldn't be in drops, man. I'm just saying. Those are like in-game items. You can also get a fully built forge. Kind of weird, man. But it's what it is. Let's check on our plant species real quick. Try to get them set properly. I want them to be on high range and then wild creatures only. They're on high, but they're on survivors and tame creatures. Let's do this. And wild only. It said that there's two in range, so this might actually copy all the settings over to the other one. Let's double check and see. If so, that'd be fantastic. Now, the range on these, I was looking back on some of my old videos, and seeing how it was on the island, it should easily reach over here to the middle, and then that one should as well. They should cross paths, so anything that comes up by here should have a very, very bad day. Where's it at? There we go. Wild creatures and high. Fantastic. I like it. I got quite a few of the fertilizer in there as well. The junior's going kind of slow, making it. I mean, it's fine, though. It's fine. It's hot out. Let's grab some stuff. What I want to do today is kind of a couple different things. I want to find another moth. We found that one over here, somewhere over here, in the last video. Look fantastic, man. Want to get that one tamed up and do some breeding. Because I definitely want to go ahead and get some set so we can actually go over to the dragon trench. We are not going over there until we do breeding on our moths. We're going to lose quite a few. I can see it now. So we'll try to get that done today. And then I want to get the UD eggs out and get those guys hatched up. We need a male and a female. That way we're going to have all of our eggs for our kibble as well as our recipes, right? So let's grab some taming stuff. Where's our taming food? We're going to need one of these. Is that full? Close enough. We'll grab a couple of these. Not very many. And then we'll grab some of these. We are going out to the desert. Let's drop that off. We can put that back where it goes. And that'll be said. That's going to be for if we get the heat stroke and stuff, right? Because it's kind of coming up on morning. Hate going out there whenever it's this time of day, but it's fine. And then we need to grab our long neck. Oh, you know what? It's going to be over here. Still learning where I'm putting everything. We don't need the cat. That can actually go back up in... The storage area. We're going on the mantis today, I think. Just to check them out some. Now there's a... <laughs> there's a 50-50 chance when we go to look in there for our kibble, it's going to be open. I mean, let's be honest, okay? Not a 50-50 chance. It's more like a 90% chance it's open, 10% chance I remember to close it. Every single time, dude. <sighs> it's open. Everything has been spoiling for days, man. For weeks. I mean, not really, but... It's, it's definitely been open. All right, let's do five of these. That should be fine for one more of the moths. And we'll take all of these. Ah, man, what, they're already about to spoil there. That should all be good. We have everything that we need. I think so. Let's go ahead and seal it. It's actually sealed for a change. All right, so make up a couple of the bolas and we'll head out. So we'll check around here for that one that we saw. Had cool colors on it. And I think we need a female, right? So we'll check Junior real quick. 
think the one we have is a male. It is. You got two more levels. Let's do one into stamina. One into weight. I like using this guy for the supply drop runs. It's just, oh man, the uh, the low weight is definitely a thing. I like taking everything out of the drops and whatever I don't want to keep, I throw into the grinder. But Argentavis is a little bit slower, I think, than him. So, is what it is, man. So we're going to need some of this. Not that much. We're going to need some of this. Not that much. A little bit of you. And then, I think it's hide, right? How many of the bolas do we have? we got one. We're definitely going to need more than one. Let's do four more. I should kind of get a set for getting one. Now, we're not going to try to do the whole trap. We'll just hit him with the bola. Hit him with some tranks. I'm not too worried about the levels. The moth we have is pretty decent. I mean, the higher level, the better. I would say nothing less than a 50 or so. I mean, it all depends on colors, right? We're not going to tame a level 5. It'll just take too long. Well, I mean... Take the same amount of time to get the stats moved over, right? But if we find a higher level one, we might actually get some better health or stamina, you know? All depends. All depends. Put you in here. And you. And you. I think, for the most part, we're kind of set. Let's go ahead and reload this. Now, I also want to head out and try to get some sulfur. We'll use him. We can make some more of our salts. We've got a lot of the pure salts, but we just need some of the sulfur way out over there. So I think what we'll do is we'll scout around here. Well, let's just pick you up. Let's go scouting on the moth. Do you drop that whenever I pick you up, or do you still hold on to it? Okay. You drop it. And there's a heat wave. Perfect. I like it. We'll do some scouting on the moth. And we'll start out over here. Check around this area for that one that we saw, and then kind of head that way. And head out towards where the sulfur is. Grab the sulfur. Come back. Hopefully we'll have a moth by then. We can do our breeding. We can do our UD hatching. And you guys have been asking me, seeing a couple comments, if we can actually paint the lights in the Frontier Pack. I think we probably can. Not 100% sure, but we would definitely take a look. Hyenas. I'd like to get a moth over here if we can. That was not too bad colors. It's a male. That one we saw was perfect, man. It had purple and orange on it, right? And the body itself look kind of cool. But we won't be too picky. We can always breed in colors later. It's a male as well. Need a female. It's kind of the, uh... <laughs> kind of the way that things work. They're all gonna be males, right? Every single one. Wait, what are you? Can't see. Too close. It's a male. Of course it is. Why would it not be... A male. That sucks about that that female that we saw, man. Should have tamed as soon as I saw it, you know. I need to start doing that. Drop everything. Keep taming stuff on us. And whenever I see something I like, just go ahead and... There's some of the bones there, too, we can probably get salt from. But tame it up as soon as I see it, you know. Do we have the Argentavis with us? We don't. We're right here at base. Before we head out to the desert, let's grab the Argentavis. That way, if we grab too much of the sulfur, we can just kind of load him up and take him back. I'm going to go ahead and probably say that moth is gone, man. That sucks really, really bad. Let's grab Junior with the attitude. Yep. Let's put you... in there's fine. That'll work out. Alright, man, I'm going to do some searching up this way. We'll head towards that drop. And then there's usually some moss up along here. And then where that drop is, we kind of just head out into the desert. And we should be able to find our sulfur. Now here's something else, too. There's a mantis super close to base. 15, 15, 20, 95. What gender is ours? It's a female. We need a male. If they're still all alive, the males, we might grab one of those two. And do breeding on those. Possibly. Maybe. Now, I think those guys only eat chitin, right? I need to double check and see. Because if so, I need to get a feed trough set out. I mean, I need to do that anyways. But I need to get some chitin and keep that kind of stocked up. I can't remember. I want to say those things only eat chitin. There's a Thyla. We're almost out of stamina. We'll see, man. We'll see. We're going to do some breeding on something today. Taming and breeding is the main thing. Definitely want to do the Mantis, and definitely want to get the Moth if we can, so... Might be a very, very busy day. We can get some stamina pretty quick. That would be fantastic, I'm just saying. It's a male, of course. Dude, I totally forgot about my... 
my water, man. It, <laughs> it all evaporated before I got a chance to drink it. You get that buff from the cold water, you know? That's a whole reason for grabbing it instead of just grabbing our drinks that we made. Because we are kind of close to the sand dunes, and it's getting pretty warm. It's up to 171, man. That is nuts, dude. We're not doing too bad on our health and stuff. We're taking a little bit of damage. we got to figure, too, our, our armor, man. Has pretty decent on the resist. And it goes... There goes a drop. Boy, I'll tell you what. It's a male. Where are all the female ones? Not here. That is 100% for sure not here. What is this? Is that a cave? That's kind of neat, man. The building here. Little rooms and stuff. Interesting. Kind of protected from the... The sun a little bit too, right? Easy to wall off. One uh, door there, one over there. Show you where we're at on the map, in case you're wondering. We are roughly 30, 72. <laughs> Interesting. Kind of a neat place. Now, something else we haven't seen either is the new creatures, right? The big ones. The uh, Oasis Soar, or whatever it's called. Now, I didn't do the whole perimeter of the map, just like from here to over there. Not exactly sure where it's going to be at, but wouldn't mind seeing one of those. Now, I do have the DLC pack, so we should be able to tame one if we see one. I'm not looking up how to tame them. Please do not tell me. I will figure it out whenever we find one. If we find one. That's kind of the key thing. We are taking heat stroke. Let's get out of here real quick. Grab our sulfur and get out of the desert. There are mantis everywhere now. It's like we tame one, and now they're all over the place. Level 90 female. Level 10 female. Hm, interesting. Good sources of polymer. All right, dude, we're dying out here, man. This should be the sulfur. It's not going to be very much. I know, I know. But every little bit helps. We might be able to just fly back on this bird, you know? There's a couple of them here. All right, let's get you out. Let's give you our picks. Let's see how you do versus me. I think we got more, right? Whenever we harvested it? Maybe, maybe not. I don't remember how much per node that we got. Yep, that one, dude. That one. Is that it? I was almost not worth it coming out here for that. I mean, 428. That's not too bad. Let's put this into damage. Again, if we get him up around three to 400%, that would be fantastic. And we should be light enough away to actually just fly back on the moth, you know? Let's pick you up. Old trip was a waste. Unless we can find a moth on the way back. You know what? We should probably try to kill one of the death worms. Now, we only have the primitive saddle on the mantis. So it's not really ideal to use him. But we do have the shotgun. We could try it. And get one more of the horns. We got one left over. Not sure if we need one or two for taming the next one. There's a female. Level 35. Super ugly. And <laughs> low level. But, it's the only female we've seen so far. That's a male 50. We might just tame that level 35. The yellow dropout over there, too. There's one more here. Let's double check. It's a male 45. Is that a moth, or is that... It's a vulture. Alright, let's tame this one that's over here. We'll set out our tent. Should be super simple to capture. Should be. Doesn't mean that it will be. Let's do this. There we go. Perfect. The uh, heat wave went away. Shouldn't be too many of these darts to take it down. We'll put out our tent and that'll help us out too some. Alright buddy, take a nap. Take a nap. There we go. There we go. Alright, Junior! I got, I got you a friend, man. I know it's low level. Don't be picky, okay? What was that? Vulture. Let's land you right here. Let's give them just two of the kibble. And then let's go ahead and set this out. Help us recover from the heat wave. Alright, two for you. That should be good enough. Alright, man. I'm going to sit here. Let that guy team up. We've got our sulfur. We've got another moth. We could probably grab that other mantis as well. And then kind of go from there. 
Maybe. Possibly. We'll see about the Mantis. Because don't forget, we still have the UD to deal with as well, right? So we seem to be doing pretty good. Our heat stroke is gone. It's another male one. But about the custom foods, too. I forgot to tell you that whenever you drink, like, the water, like we just did, it doesn't give you instant water to where it fills it up. It does a little bit over time, kind of like it is now. So with the canteen, it fills you up all the way instantly. This, it doesn't. Same with the health, man. It's kind of taking our health back up. But our heat stroke's gone. There's a huge sandstorm coming. Ah, dude, it's always something, man. Please, Junior, take a bite of the kibble, man. Let's get in here. <laughs> get in here. Close the doors. Junior, close your eyes, buddy. Close your eyes. It's definitely not a safe thing. Kind of cool, though. I like how you can kind of see the storms rolling in. And then whenever they pass over. We good? Is the storm gone? Nice, man. Nice. Junior is awake. No, there is a problem. I just now noticed. It's gonna be a reoccurring problem. I lost our pig. <laughs> now it's probably still way out there. We are not going back for it. Lesson learned. We definitely have to watch out for that whenever we're using the mantis for things. Let's pick you up. Take a look at you back at base. There's a drop over there I want to try to grab. That's some of my kibble. Appreciate that. Go somewhere else, Junior. I killed your friend already. Nope. There's two of you down there. He was trying to attack me while the sandstorm was going on. That drop's still coming down, isn't it? Ah, uh, dude. Definitely want to get the drops as much as we can. I thought that was another one coming in. That's the one that's leaving. Got some sabers close by. They're definitely not friendly. Just saying. Want to get one of the thorny dragons here before too long? There's one right there, actually. Are we good? You are right? I don't trust you. Nice, some gilly. I like it. There, <laughs> there's some sulfur, dude. We'll take these two. Not sure what we'll need it for. Let's get on this guy. And away from the cats. That's kind of cool, man. We got some sulfur, so that's a little bit more for the preserving salts. We should be good for a little bit. Ton of thorny dragons up here. I like that, man. Close to base. Might be able to find some good ones to do some taming on. Not crazy on the colors on that one, the red, but that's probably the highest level one, right? Just guessing. Level 50. So, maybe we'll leave the mantis for the next video. And we'll just focus on getting the moth bread up. Now, it all depends, man. If this goes super simple, which it does sometimes, maybe we'll head out and try to grab that mantis and then do... Is that our... That's the one, right? That's the one we were going to tame, isn't it? Better colors on that one. For, like, the feet and stuff. Should we try to tame that one, too? Nah, it's fine, man. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Well, it's fine. It's fine. If we can get the colors from our male onto the female, we'll be fine, man. Let's just, <laughs> let's leave it like it is. We could do this all day. It happens, man. It happens. All right. Let's put you up top. Oh, actually, we need to have you down below. Can you fit inside the double doors? Oh, you can. I had no idea. Ah, oh, dude. Have this plus the saber. Have everything inside. So let's leave you right there. Because don't forget we have the AC right here for doing our hatching and stuff, right? Hopefully it's enough. Let's unseal this and reseal it when we're done. Alright, let's give you kibble. Darts. Darts. Bug spray. I think we're kind of good. Can't reseal it yet. I need to set a timer, dude. That's exactly what I need to do. See, the problem is, off camera, I come through these and I check them for the fertilizer. I check them for the amount of crops. And then I fill that up and I forget to reseal it, you know? It happens, dude. Alright, put you right here. There we go, man. There we go. Alright, so. Enable. Enable. Let's drop off some stuff in the refrigerator. Let's grab our normal foods out now. Let's do you. Not so much. Now I need to fill up our canteen. It's a pain, man. I really miss the tech ones. Take canteen. Fantastic thing, man. Very, very nice to have. Let's leave our gear in here, actually. That's going to be for the mantis. That can go in there. Let's get this going. Oh, we had a bunch already. Didn't realize that. Make them all. 
Every single one of them. Alright, let's leave that in there. This in here. That's all good. For right now, we'll put you in there and you in there. And that'll work out. So, something else somebody was asking me about. Let's do this. Let's do this. And we'll put Junior up here. They were wondering if the Draboas still kind of chirped. Can I not? If they chirped when they're on the uh, display there, too. Not too sure. We'll definitely hear it if they do because the storms happen so often. Need some food. How far along are you? Almost. Now let's drop off the rest of our stuff real quick. Surprised we only used one of the bolas. Just saying. <laughs> we usually go through quite a few of those, dude. Kind of sucks about the pick, too. I need to... Wait, we got some in the grinder, right? Some more of these need to go in here with this. Let's put these out here. And we don't need that many on us. Because they are super, super heavy. Alright. We're down to that for a pick. That sucks, man. Picks, hatchets, and the long necks. I really haven't got any of. There we go. What is that? That is not an egg, man. That is definitely crazy looking. That looks like the... The eggs from the spiders. And I think the mantis dropped those like that as well, right? Or maybe it's the bats I'm thinking of. That you can breed. Not sure what the mantis gives you. But the ACs are working. What's up, Junior? We got twins! Oh, fantastic! Alright, so... Hopefully, you got some good stats. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Imprint. Check some stats. So... Where's my... Cheat sheet. So we need 1820. 273. 400. Absolutely not. All the bad stats. Alright, so, what we'll do... Put you guys outside. Hopefully they'll starve to death and I don't have to kill them. Put you out here. And put you... Out here as well. Ugly colors anyways. Is what it is. I mean, the... The blue on this one. If we can get that over onto ours. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of match the wings some, you know? We'll see, we'll see. Let's worry about the stats. And we can worry about the colors later. But that kind of sucks, man. We got twins on the first one. Are they males or females? They're both males. Oh, once they're going to walk. I wonder what that symbol was. Stay out there. You'll be fine. All right, man. Let me get a couple more of the eggs. And we'll try to get us a good one. That'd be fantastic. We can get a good set. That's a female. It has the colors of all the male. But the blue of the female. That'd be nice, dude. Ah, uh, that'd be very, very nice. Go ahead and grind this stuff. Take our polymer. We'll seal up our barrel. I almost forgot. Not gonna lie, I almost forgot. Drop you in there. Let's go ahead and seal this. There we go, man. There we go. Let's test out some of the paints, too, before I forget. Go around this way. We're taking up all the room. Let's grab a paintbrush. And then... Doesn't matter what color it's on it. Let's see if we can actually paint this. Interesting. You can. Okay. So you can paint the fixture. That's going to be the back side and right here. That's going to be this. That's going to be obviously all of it. That looks kind of cool too. That's going to be down here. And this one is that. So let's see if it'll actually paint the light itself. It does. The light changes. Very hard to see because it's daytime. But it'll change the uh, way the light looks. I'll try to remember to... Well, I'll just do it now. How far along are you guys? Almost ready. Let me change it to nighttime and then daytime. Let's do that. Give it a second. Takes forever on this map for it to change. But yeah, it does change the color of the lights. And stuff like that. I don't have too many colors to test. Let's put that down there. Might be able to change it to like a gray or something. There we go. Easier to see. That's more of a white light. 
It's kind of nice having that instead of that. Maybe I'll go through and change all of them. Let's uh, check this real quick, though. Oh, you're already ready. Junior, my bad, buddy. So, you are a female. We have some good stats. Please tell me we do. Good health. Horrible stamina. Horrible weights. Cool colors, though. It's got all the colors of the male. Oh, it's got the ugly green of the female. Okay, look. We're not keeping you either. Throw you outside. Not your fault, buddy. Not your fault. We're getting closer, though. We got the health. Now we could keep this one. Let's actually keep it. Okay. Reason being, we have the good health. Let it get raised up. What are you gonna eat for food? Let's grab some berries. Out here. Hey, berries, right? Berries or meats? Berries for sure. Okay. Let it get raised up. And we can put that one over here in the breeding line as well. And try to get... At least a health over, right? Let both of them go at the same time. Now let's go ahead and do... A little bit of painting, man. Change all these over. That's gonna be a lot more dim, because we're using gray. We could... Do a... Do a lighter color. Let's see what we have in here. So we want... Grayscale. We could do Wisp. Don't we have Silver? We don't. Let's see what Wisp looks like. That's gonna be Stimberries and Narcotics. I need to see about the imprint on this guy. Oh, we're not doing imprints. We're gonna leave it. Not you. So we need... We'll just do all of them. Well, we'll do half. Half of these. Half of those. And then what we wanna do... Autocraft is off. We'll do this. We'll do that. Dies. Then we're gonna do... Grayscale. Wisp, let's do... One. Test it out. See how it is. Ooh, that's a lot brighter. That might be too... too white. I need to do something in between the Wisp and the Gunmetal Gray. I do like that better than the kind of gray color. Oh, we got another one. Holy crap, dude. They are definitely coming out a lot faster than I thought. We got a female. We got the good health. We got the good stamina. We got the bad weight. Look, we can deal with this one, okay? That one is not bad at all. And... And... Junior has the right colors. We got the blue under there, too! Ah, dude. That's it right there. Let's get rid of you. Can we please stay down on my hotbar? I get rid of you. All we're missing is weight. I can deal with that. The weight isn't that big of an issue. I mean, it kind of is, depending on how many of the... We're gonna have silk for days when I kill those off. It all, <laughs> it all depends on how many of the eggs we try to get at once. Junior, look, man, look. You're new here, okay? So I'm gonna tell you this once. Stay off of my table. Okay? Kind of cool that he climbed up there, not gonna lie. But, I need to give you some food. Munch on that a little bit. Grow up big and strong. Now come over here. Over here. Look at a man walking already. If you could have just had the good weight, I'm just saying. Oh, wants to go to walk. Hey, what? Come out here. I'll show you the grinder in the industrial forge. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't take that the wrong way. Okay, you're not getting put in either one of those. I mean, you might. If one of your siblings comes out with the proper weights, just saying, just saying. Yep, you're glitching out. You're glitching out. Out of the floor. Out of the floor. Over here. Come outside. Junior! Easy hit. Hey, look, man. This is not the brightest one. We'll throw him outside like this. Oh, that's right. We're not doing the... We're not doing that. I keep forgetting we're not doing the imprint because of... It's gonna be a breeder. Give me some more food. Let's give you all the food. There we go. So you are a male. We're not gonna want regardless. Bad stats. Let's... let's turn off breeding on these. We'll get rid of that female as well. Because we pretty much got the good colors on this one. The only difference in the colors, I think, is... That one has the orange underneath, and that one has the blue-orange, which I want, so... Alright, four of you guys. 
all for the remove pile. And let's pick up you. And we'll put you in here. Just in case. You never get rid of your breeder until you're sure that you want to get rid of your breeder. Alright, so let's go ahead and paint these. See if we need to change it to a lighter color or not. Or not lighter, but darker. I think it's going to be too much white light, you know. That's pretty... <laughs> that's pretty bright, man. Not going to lie, that is pretty bright for sure. I don't know which I like better. I like the softness of the other ones. I think we just need to add more gray into it. What other... Colors do we have? Grayscale. So Wisp is pretty bright. Silver might be bright as well. Maybe steel? What is ours? Is ours a gunmetal? It is. That's a good bit darker. Steel might be it. Steel might be a steel. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, that is perfect, dude. Let's grab out the pink gun. I think it's under building. I think it's under gear. And then what color field is it? Is it one? It is. Cosmetics? Steel? Are you... 90%. Alright. Try all these. That looks a lot better. A lot more dim. Watch your wings, buddy. Watch your wings. Did I get it? I don't think I did. We didn't. There we go. Do the one out here, too. There we go. A little bit more soft light, a little bit more dim. I like it, man. I like it. We might need to put one or two more of these up in here. Well, that's fine if we do, if it's not bright enough. I think we might. Because there's not an intensity on these things that change it. It's kind of stuck at whatever you have, you know? Yep, we could definitely put out some more. Now, we might be able to do the chandeliers like this as well. I'm thinking maybe with these lights, that might kind of deflect the shadows that were on the ground. Maybe not. But putting up some more of these lights is not that big of a deal, you know? Kind of like them. Could put some by the door here. But that's... I think it looks better. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Do you prefer these or the original ones? Original ones are brighter, but they're more yellow. This is more dim, but it's white light. I'm kind of 50-50 on it, going to be honest with you. It's a lot more dim. Hmm. Interesting. I don't know. How are you doing? You are ready. Let's go ahead and do this. Pick you up. Drop you there. Yep. Okay, look. We got problems with you crawling on stuff. Turn you around over here, Junior. Oh, it's got the ugly wings, too. I mean, that's fine. We can always breed the wings in. Once we get a good pair and stuff, right? Because all we're trying to do is get the stats from the male over onto the female. So, regardless, we'll have this guy for breeding. And we can always just get some good colors over eventually, you know? Look at this. I do like the blue on the bottom, though. Instead of the orange. As long as we can get the wings kind of transferred over, too, you know? Kind of matches. So all we're missing is weight. And that'll be kind of set, you know? Then we'll do some imprints, see how they come out, and then eventually we'll get some... I might just leave these guys on breeding, right here, and try to get some mutations. That's that's something I'm really wanting to do, like I talked about in uh, Scorched Earth, is get mutations on our creatures. If this works out, it'll be fantastic. We got all the good colors, we got triplets. How are we doing? How are we doing? We got the good stats! Oh, dude, that is fantastic! Let's make sure to keep them all alive. Not all of it. Look, man, look. 
Don't be a pig. You've got a ton of brothers and sisters over here. I'm gonna guess all sisters, right? They're all females. Let's go pick you up. Let's grab these. Yeah, let's do this. Let, let, let's pick you up. Sort you guys out some. Hold on, hold on. Look, look. Calm down, man. Calm down. That is awesome, dude. That's gonna help out a ton with... ...getting some eggs. Alright, put you there. Let's give you... ...some of this. I think we have all the good colors, right? Put you right there. Yep, on the stairs, that's fine. And then we got the other one. I like it, dude. I like it. That is awesome, man. Good colors. We still got a little bit of a mix of the face being a different color. What is the male and the female for the face? Okay, both the same. That little part coming down is kind of connected to the feet as well. So we should have the good colors there. We do. That is awesome. Plus we got the... Oh, we got some different colors on the rim of the wings, right? Oh, they both got the purple. That's fine, that's fine. I like it, dude. I like it all! Oh, makes me happy, dude. We got triplets. So, what we'll do is we'll go ahead, get rid of that one. We'll do breeding on these, and then that's three of them I can leave out for doing breeding off camera, trying to get mutations. So we'll check. Make sure 1820, 435, 273. Nice, man. Nice! Alright, let's put this in here. And then... Let's do that. Let's stand up. Throw you outside. Didn't take as long as I thought. We got, what, one, two, three, four? Four out here? And then with the fifth one, that made the, uh, the ones that we want. Let's throw out the other one out here as well. This one. I'll get rid of all those. Now, I don't think that the plant species will actually tear them up if I unclaim them. Because we're playing in PvE mode. Where is the unclaim? Oh, do this first. Not... <laughs> not that. Passive. There we go. Options, unclaim. So yeah, in PvE mode, you can't kill your own tames, even if you unclaim them. Super weird. I don't think the plant species will do anything, right? Yes, he can't damage him. That is super weird. If you unclaim it, you should be able to kill it, you know? Waste the ammo. Anyways, I'll deal with that with admin commands off camera. So, you guys doing alright? Everybody got food? Well, nobody dying. Let's get some more berries. Last thing we have left to do is do some breeding with these guys and then do some imprints. We could imprint one of these. Walk. Kibble? We're not doing kibble. You are very expensive. Let's do the green berries. We'll imprint the one. That'll kind of show us the final stats. There we go, man. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice. Alright. Speaking of berries, give some to you. We will give some to you. Some to you. So, imprinted stats will be 2184 on the health. Stamina is still going to be 435. You never get a bonus in that. The damage is up to 327. Again, doesn't really matter because... Oh, wait, that's weight. Damage is at 345. Doesn't matter because they don't do any damage. But 327 on the weight, so that's about, what? 50 or so more on the weight. And then for the da or health, it's going to be, what, 18, 19, 20, 20, About 400 more. So it's not too bad, really. We need to get some mutations into either health, weight, or stamina. And all those will be kind of set there. So, let's grab the saddle. Let's move you out of the way. Actually, we use you for breeding. Easy to see for our stats if we get any good mutations. Now, if we get a male one that has... Are you raised up? Not yet. If we get a male one that has all the good colors, we'll change that one out. Otherwise, we'll kind of just leave it like it is. The only thing we're missing is the underbelly, where it has the orange. We want it to be blue, like that one. You can kind of keep the saddle. These guys, when they're ready, we'll put them into cryos. Well, I mean, they kind of work right here, right? I doubt we're going to get any of the mutations today. Let's move you over and make some room. 
once I'm done recording, I'm gonna sit here and let those guys spit out a bunch of eggs until we get a better male, or a, a male with the proper colors, or some mutations. Now, regardless, next video, uh, I don't know, I'm kind of torn, man. Next video, I want to try to tame that new creature, if we can. If not, we can always go to the Dragon Trench. I want to see how it looks. And plus, over there, on the other side of the map, we have that, that cave I want to check out. Not sure if it's still there. We'll probably swing by our old area for our base to see what it looks like. It's, everything's kind of different. It's the same but different, right? With ASA. There's a male. And there's a male. So I kind of want to see how the old base looks, you know, where we used to build at. It's kind of like over on the island, right? I always build in the same spot. I'm going to say there's some moss right outside. <laughs> but I always build in the same spot on the island, and I got a spot over here I like to always build too. So kind of curious how the train looks. As for these guys, though, that is fantastic, man. Wasn't too hard to get these stats over. Now, even though we used the lower level one, we didn't, uh, didn't get any of the other stats, right? If we would have had a higher level female, had a chance to get some higher stats. But we'll try to get some mutations on them. And see how that kind of works. As for the Jerboa, we really haven't had another storm. So I'm not sure. I'll leave it out. And we'll see if we can kind of hear that guy hollering whenever a storm comes by. See until we have all of the plant species up, that'll kill off all the other Jerboas in the area. So if we hear one hollering, it's definitely going to be him. Looks like he's already about to start yelling for a storm. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day, man. Started off a little rocky. You know, we were trying to find us one of the females. All we kept seeing was males for the moths. Went out, got some sulfur, and then got, <laughs> got a bunch more from a drop. It's the way that it goes, man. Not that big of a deal. We do got all of our good stats over on the females, and we're kind of set, man. We got triplets at the end there. That is fantastic. I'll try to leave them out and possibly get some mutations, and then we'll see, man. Next video, either we'll go over to the Dragon Trench and take a look by the Red Obelisk, or we'll try to tame one of the new creatures. I need to see how hard it is to tame them and what the mechanics are, so kind of see, man. We've got plenty of stuff to do while we're still here on Scorched Earth. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.